Hello everyone, my name is Gracian, and this is episode 2 of this Let's Play of Against, Against the Storm. Uh, I still have a cold, i um, recording this one because I can sort of not talk a whole lot, so I'm going to be on mute quite quite a bit of it. Um, it's just sort of a cozy playthrough, just listen to the ambient sounds of the game's music and the rain and stuff. It's a very, very cozy game, actually. Well, only if it's on a lower difficulty. It gets gets quite tense and difficult on the higher prestigious difficulties. So, But I'm just running like a... Um, Oh my god, my neighbor's truck is so loud. I'm just running like a Prestige 2 here, just so for like a simple playthrough. So, um, alright, so I'm gonna go on mute for a little bit and uh, we'll get back to playing. I don't think anybody wants tea. This is religion services. This makes tea and porridge. Uh, oh, here's porridge. Um, it's not too complicated to rebuild. Might do that one. There's a perk. Mm, this is pretty... Grain production for 25. Oh, man, I want all of these, actually. Um... This one's kind of a no-brainer because the trees make mush, uh, make leather sometimes. So I could just get essentially an infinite amount of leather and I could just sell it um, or just make the water skins and sell those. So I might do that. 
Sacrifice. Oh my god, I don't have this much stuff to sacrifice. <laughs> oh god. I would get the smithy though. That would be pretty damn good. As long as I don't unpause, I can still choose that one. Do I have any way to make oil? He doesn't sell oil. That would have been amazing if he did. Um. Uh, crude workstation mine. I don't think I have a way to get oil. Pottery. Yeah, I, I can't take that one. I don't have any really great trade value items here to give to this guy. I need to get to 10 amber, but it's not really worth... Like, I'd have to sell... Well, maybe I can get to it. Maybe I can get to it if I do, like... So, a little bit more meat because I make that pretty easily I'm getting kind of this is gonna be a little a little dangerous to go this low fabric isn't too hard to make because of all the leather I have access to we do like we do like that and I can turn this in I gotta keep this low. And then we need, um, here we go, tools. Uh, we don't, we do have a way to make flour. We don't have a way to make copper or bricks. Copper bars or bricks, so this would be good. And we don't have a way to make tools, so we kind of have to think. But we do... So we can mine that copper and we could just use the loose copper to make roadways instead of the stone. Or we could turn it into copper bars, but we also need a way to make bricks. The tool shop would be great because of tools, but we're still pretty early on. So I think I'll go ahead and grab this now. So I do need a way to make, make bricks more reliably. Yeah, this is really what we need. We've got the bricks for it. We need bricks to build the brick making place, unfortunately. Let's turn the priority up. So I'm gonna get get the crude workstation out of here. 
I don't want to be using this anymore in here. Actually, we can put that back into the economy there. I think we now have planks, bricks, and fabric um, being produced. So we now can make all the um, advanced construction materials, which is great. So we won't have any, so let's just take time because we don't have a lot of people. Really need more people. And pump these guys up just so we start getting some resolve. the front of this tea house must be this I'm clear up some space around the, the hearth for um, housing it's also about time to get better housing actually but we're, we're a little low on those resources so I'm just gonna just gonna make a couple more basic shelters Kind of put that out of my mind for a minute. Mm, I might do. I might just do one. Need uh, humans and beavers in the next newcomer selection. Forgot to upgrade my hearth. Completely forgot about it. Hello. 
loading. Wait, making tea requires copper bars or crystallized dew? That's crazy. Maybe I don't want to make tea right now. Porridge would be good. But we're just barely getting our grain going here. From the farm here. Grain and vegetables. Actually, what is what is using the grain? Something's using the grain. I think it was something... The, f the supplier. Because no, we don't have any f flour either, so... I haven't used that much. Pick pickled good. What's it? Oh yeah, here. Um, no pack of crops. Um, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't couldn't tell you exactly where where those are all ending up. That's pretty weird. Where's all my grain? I don't know. out some space we'll go ahead and have them focus on the where I want to put the pathways Something's really upsetting these beavers. Minus minus seventeen from <sighs> combined effect. Uh, so the darkness of the okay horrors from beneath. Villagers working in mines. I see. Well, we'll we'll just not not deal with that.
There's no space down here. Gotta get the woodcutters going. And we also have a forbidden glade over here. We could open that up soon, see what's inside. Probably something that blows up as usual. shift or our blight post which no one is good at doing but we do we need to start making these um, so we can kill the blight the blight cyst thingy so let's uh, put a limit of like 15 on here you can also sell these for pretty decent money to the trader sometimes they'll take these for quite a lot and all it takes is time and wood This one's pretty good, just 10% speed and one resolve. Every neighboring town offers plus two more trade routes. Mm. You can see the contents of undiscovered glades, but discovering dangerous or forbidden kills a villager. Let's take this one, just kind of nice and basic. I don't have much to sell to this guy at this time. Don't really need to buy anything either. I think I'm just going to have to wait. What I need to do is get these so I can start doing trade routes. I forgot that I actually lower my hostility or my um, hostility increase if I have active trade routes. So I just need to make I just need to make these constantly. Um, so I can not lose. <laughs> Just pump these guys up again because they're they're pretty happy. If I get them their specific housing too, then they're gonna be really happy. But I wanna boost everybody up a little bit, especially the beavers, they're having a little bit of trouble. good we have grain so we can use the grain to make ale and then we just need a place to give oh we can make oil um oil incense and coats we can't make any of those things i think i'm gonna go with the brewery though it's a really fun build i think is the grain into 
flour into food and grain into ale into taverns. I think that's a really fun. It's like my favorite way to build uh, my cities in this game. Okay, I'm going to cut like a little bit of space here and then I'm going to go cut into this um, dangerous glade or forbidden glade and see what kind of terrifying thing is in there. I think it'll be fun. I think we've got, we've got pretty decent like oil, coal, uh, crystallized dew. These are often things used in the, the really dangerous ones. Some wildfire, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully something of that will 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 fix this. All right, but we are also all out of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. We will see what's in this this dangerous forbidden glade actually here on the next episode. Uh, we'll just kind of keep building up here. Might want to get a uh, pump here actually at some point just for quick rainwater collection okay so let's end this one here thank you everybody so much for watching if you enjoyed this please like and subscribe uh, check out the link in my description for my patreon if you would like to support my channel i'd really appreciate that as well we'll see you in the next episode